Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. I want to talk about how our brains work, how the mind works, and I've, I've really tapped into something that I've been thinking about, working on, letting my subconscious bring about for a few years now, and I want to share it with you. Um, and it's very unknown. I don't hear anybody talking about this. Um, there is a book I'll mention as well that, that has played a big role into this. Um, but let's start with back in 2020, and I was at my house. I had a slack line put up between two trees, and uh, this could have been 2019 as well. But I was putting a slack line up, and I was, you know, walking across trying to learn the skill of of this tightrope sort of um, balance skill, right? And I was struggling. I was looking down at my feet, and I'm trying to go one step at a time and falling down, really trying hard, really putting in this effort to try. And I was having a, a hard time doing it. And I began to think, well, what's a better way to do this? And I came up, basically it came to me like, put your attention, put your vision, look to what the end of the rope. And so I looked all the way at the end and I really dialed in on this little th white threads that were on the end. I could just make out with my eyes and I put my eyes on there and as I, I started walking and I began to walk all the way to the end without falling in no time. It was, it was a miracle. It was crazy. The amount of time it took me to learn that once I changed where I was looking with my eyes was incredible. And it led me, I didn't know at the time I, I, I realized I was on to something about some mechanism on how the mind co coordinates and, and uses its like these automatic um, you know balance and, and muscular coordination, but I didn't know the extent of it in, until now. And you know it was crazy. It, it, it was as if the body knew how to do everything. I just needed to show it where to go. And what I've learned is that our minds and our brains are goal-seeking machines, goal-creating um, machines, meaning we, our minds and brains and our, our emotions and thoughts, beliefs, are all trying to achieve something. They work on achievement or goal-focused. Um, <laughs> they, they're all working to achieve a goal whether you know it or not. Um, so, what we like to do in not just Western medicine, but just the human nature, we break things down into parts, right? And we try to solve things by zeroing in on certain things, maybe thoughts, maybe emotions, maybe um, this, that. And we miss how the system actually works. And what if our mind well, I'm presenting our mind works to accomplish whatever goal you've given it. And you see this, so this is first outlaid in the book um, that I discovered, this concept of it relating to the mental process, outlaid in the book um, Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. And, but also, I came across this in another physical aspect by the book The Inner Game of Tennis where Tim Galloway was a tennis instructor and he found that by his normal instructions of instructing his, 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 uh, his clients on the tennis court by like telling them, you know, move your hand here, put it here, uh, bring your elbow up a little higher, turn your wrist over, you know, this just cre created those instructions, created more tension in the person's system as they started thinking about all the individual parts of the tennis swing. And he started moving towards a method of, of having the person focus more on the ball coming at them or the sound of the tennis ball hitting the racket, more of a visualization aspect, putting this other set of sort of goal in the mind and letting the details of the swing take over and had a huge performance um, benefit to his clients. And we see this all the time in sports. Athletes talk about the flow state. The flow state is this no mind, no thinking kind of state where you're just 
doing. Your body is just going after it in the most high performance state that we know of. And there's no thought. There's no tension. So why is that? How do we get into that state? Well, the body works, the brain works by achieving goals. So if your goal is to focus on what could happen to you, what any kind of negative or harmful thing that might happen to you, or what people might think about you, um, or what if that, or what all these little dangers and threats and things, and uncertainties, you're going to get more of that in your life. You're giving yourself that goal to look out for those threats and to, to problem solve that. And so the subconscious and all your thoughts and emotions are going to be energized and driven to that end. We know this from a um, sexual stimulation perspective. The, what you fantasize, this goal you give your brain to accomplish, will just work itself out in sexual arousal and, uh, and sexual energy. We know this, um, yeah, and so any kind of positive uh, aspect of, of, of viewing ourselves, visualizing ourselves in a positive, healthy way, calm, confident, whatnot, our minds will then orient to move us in that direction. We don't have to get caught up in the in the details of trying to control thoughts, control emotions. Um, but it's moving with an intention and a, uh, and a purpose of what do I want? What is, what do I, who do I want to be? How do I want to understand and view myself? And the mind will pick up and join that intention. And all these... Uh, tight muscles and racing thoughts um, and the stress response that goes along with all these associations with anxiety and whatnot, we can redirect. We can redirect those, that energy into positive um, goals in our life. And so that's, that is the concept, that is the, the mechanism of our mind, that is the, 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 that is how our mind works. And so it really comes down to understanding how are we driving this process. If we have anxiety, if we have uh, physical issues, what are we doing to direct our subconscious to work against us? And how can we turn the ship around and start envisioning a different life for ourselves, a different image of ourselves, a self-image, which is, which is everything. Okay, the mind is working to to bring to reality the self-image you hoard by yourself. Um, man, let me know what you think about this video um, and, and this theory. But, uh, and please subscribe to this channel, like the video, join the OCD Hero uh, community where I talk more about this stuff. We can problem solve this on a deeper level. Uh, thanks for watching.